good night everybody. I say good night because it is very, very late and I did not vlog today because I didn't do anything today. I woke up really late and I had to go to work and that was my life. But while I was at work, I had a package delivered today. Yay! So I thought I would open it up and show you guys what I got. And it's actually kind of already open. Like, it wasn't packaged up very well because this is already halfway off. Alright, look at that. You can see it already. We got... Mmm, that nice latex smell. Oh, his head's kind of messed up. I got this. Creepy, crawling zombie. I got him to go, like, as if he's crawling underneath the wall in the garage. And I think that'll look kind of cool. The only thing is, like I said, his head's kind of messed up from where they packaged him. Like, you can kind of see his neck has all been out of shape, so his head's kind of like... I don't know. <laughs> and it's like he's just like resting on the edge of the box. Like, good night. What is he actually made out of? So pretty much, just looks like foam and latex. And then there's like cotton stuffing on the inside. Nothing too crazy. I mean, this wasn't an expensive prop. Like, this is just a cheap little thing, so I'm not, I wasn't expecting anything too crazy. But he's got some nice detail on him. He got the, uh, like his spine sticking out the back, and then back here. All the bones and, like, muscles sticking out. His fingernails are a little weird. I'm not sure what the, uh, purpose of the white is. It's on both. It's a little strange. But I think that in the dark, with some fresh blood put on the wounds and stuff, it should look pretty good. In fact, let's take a quick trip outside and actually put him by the wall and see how it looks. There we go. Uh, so we definitely don't have any lighting or anything set up in here, like, at all. But that kind of gives you an idea. We'll have to... We're going to break apart uh, some of the boards down here. Actually, we might do it on that side over there to make it look like he's crawling through some busted boards. That kind of gives you an idea of what it'll look like. I don't want to open the garage door because it's late at night, but got him crawling out. Plus, I'll have all the arms reaching through and stuff. And I think as far as lighting goes, I'm just going to do some... I want to do some strobe lights, like, at the corners facing this way. So that whenever people walk in here, the strobe lights are flashing towards them and it'll kind of like disorient everybody a little bit and hopefully give the illusion of movement with these things. Or at least not make them look quite so static, you know? And I think that'll be the extent of the lighting in here. I was thinking I might hang up the that rusty attic light up here, but I haven't quite decided that on yet. But I know that, like, the main lighting is going to be the strobe lights on either side. It'll be something like this, actually. Uh, it'll be something like this, actually, uh, with another one on the other side. But I'm hoping that by having a strobe light up there and up there, it'll kind of disorient everybody when they're walking in and maybe give the appearance that this stuff isn't completely static. I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right, so that's probably going to be it for tonight, actually. Because, uh, like I said, it is late, and I'm getting tired to go to sleep. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.